told him this right here. I told him this Wednesday night. Look at your neighbor tell you, you miss a lot of stuff on Wednesday night. But I, I told him this call on Wednesday night. Facebook them revealed the church. So it's going to least those that make up the church. Huh? Because I can tell by your post where your mind is. I can tell by the post you bring up when everybody's fooling with you and you're trying to find out who like you, who don't like you, and who your buddy and all that kind of stuff. Huh? I can tell that Gotonia spirit you got when all you posting this food. I can tell how no you are when you know who's coming out, who back door, and who's sleeping with her and child. I can tell you a busy body when you just get in other folk business ain't got nothing to do with you. You come in on stuff ain't got a thing to do with you. And I'm like, who Holy Ghost, who anointed you to be the Holy Ghost police? Take your seat. Am I preaching losing? Take your seat here. And so all this stuff that's in, I can tell where your mind, you're, 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 you're not spiritual. Hmm. And that's what I want to deal with today because, I mean, I mean, your, your, your mind, you're not, you're not spiritual. You, you can't stay from the fellowship. Huh? I mean, you, you can't stay. I mean, I mean, I mean, let me say something. It's not derogatory statement or nothing like that, but let me say, even the farm animals know, know to come in when it's feeding time. Come on, come on. The animals got sense to know when, when something in the trough is time to come in. I don't, I don't care what's going on in the pasture, baby. They know when to come in for feeding time. So, you, you know, you, you, know you, you got to come home when, 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 when it's time for feeding time. You know, I mean, as kids, we played out in the yard, but we knew four or five o'clock men. I mean, I mean, you, you got to put up the ball. You got to put up the bed, baby. You got to put the bicycle back somewhere because it's going to be 5 o'clock soon. And, and at 5 o'clock, we used to do some stuff at 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock was you no know, feeding time. And so you, you, you got to know when feeding time is. I mean, you can't be a part of a church and a part of the ministry. I don't care what you do during the week. I do care about some things you do during the week. You know what I'm saying? But when feeding time comes, you, you, you got to have your seat at the table. You, you got to make sure I have a seat at the table when, when my leaders are feeding the body of Christ because I don't want to, you know, no, 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 no. And when I look around so many times and don't see you doing feeding time, I know there's a problem on the horizon. I know, baby, something is brewing in your mind. I know you got in your thoughts, and I know this has been said and that them been said. There's a problem soon to be. Hmm. And I'm trying to find out. Since when I'm trying to find out, where, 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 where's your mind? Where's your mind? Now, notice this right here. Because... You can, like Lot following Abraham, you can come and be a part of something, be in something, but yet not a part of it. And I, and I, and I really think that's the hour that we're in. I really believe that judgment has begun at the house of God, like he say, and I really believe things are being revealed. And one of the things that social media has done is, is revealed our mindset. Hmm. I'm going to use it as a ministering tool because I'm a preacher. I'm trying to get the word out. I'm going to put as much preaching as a pastor Perry can preach on there. I'm going to comment on nothing that's happening in your church. But all this silly stuff I can. Huh? All this silly stuff. Baby, you, 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 you punching light on top of light. Making comments about them, but that's all right because that's just revealing your mindset. And I'm preaching today, Sister Cox. We're gonna have to embrace the mind of God. We're gonna have to get the mind of God. I know what the Bible said. The Bible said to submit. God bless you, brother. Yourself unto God. The problem that the church have, we're trying to resist without submission. And baby, I come to tell you, you can't resist this devil unless you become submissive to this God. And the problem we have, we want to walk away. We're trying to walk away, but there's no submission to God.
look at somebody and say, we got to get the first things first. And I'm not trying, you know, I, 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 you may not shout on this one, baby, because this ain't going to put nothing under your garage. This ain't going to put nothing under the Christmas tree. This is not going to put nothing on your finger. This is not going to put nothing around your neck, baby. This is not going to be in your bank account on this one. But I come to tell you, baby, we going to have to get our mind focused on the mind of God because we can't do kingdom work without kingdom mindship. We got to think like the kingdom. And we can't get caught up in all this wishy washy stuff because that's too many winds and doctrines coming around here. That's too many winds are blowing. Take a seat here. I'm about through. And I, you know, I, 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 I'm like this, man. And, and, and I, I, I'm a hard on the preachers. Take a seat. I'm hard on the preachers. Because I don't care what you call yourself. Huh? And what kind of gift you call yourself to operate in. You got to have this right here. The mind of God. Now the Bible says, let this mind be in you. That was also in Christ Jesus. Who been in the form of God. First of all, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God. Now let me marinate right there a little bit. Let me meditate on that a little bit. Because here you go. The Jesus, now, I, I'm, not, I'm equal to God. Bible say, amen. I'm like God. God like me. I'm equal to him in power. I'm equal to him in deity. I'm equal to God in the Bible. Opposite, that the same spirit uh, that lived Jesus out of the grave what dwells in your mortal body uh, you better tell somebody baby he didn't give Jesus one Holy Ghost and gave you another Holy Ghost but he gave you the same Holy Ghost that he gave Jesus uh, so like now know what Jesus was able to do you better have five three four and tell him I can do it too but wait a minute I'm not like you I'm not trying to make myself of a reputation Uh, see, I know your mindset, baby. You already got your, you already got your ministry, got your cards and briefcase, got your website, got your email. You already set up because you're trying to make yourself all a reputation. Mm. Let this mind be in you. That was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, did not consider Robert to be equal with God, but he made himself of no reputation, taking on the form of a servant and coming in the likeness of a man that been found in the fashion of the man. The Bible said he humbled himself. That's your problem, baby. You can't humble without submission. I'm trying to get you to see. You go out and submit to this God, and when only when you submit to this God, then you were able to resist this devil. Take your seat here. The problem we have, and I'm closing. The problem we have, and I'm closing. And and scripture teaches us this. In Roman, it teaches us this. It teaches us, he said, in Roman twelve, quoted y'all, he said, Brother, I beseech you. Therefore, by the mercies of God, to present this thing, your body. Think somebody said you gotta present your body. That means that means here you are presenting your body as a living. That means as you live. Now that, that's very powerful. There's a revelation there because basically when you deal with sacrifice, you deal with death. You better talk to me, somebody. That's when they brought sacrifice, Carly, everything they brought was dead. But he's telling you to present your not as a dead. I feel the Holy Ghost. As a living, baby, you're going to tell me you're going to need some power because that's going to be a struggle to present something living. When you bring something dead, it's 